Trans women are women. Trans men are men. Science is real and black lives matter. Love is love. No human is illegal. Women's rights are human rights, and women owe no one their femininity. Biological sex and gender identity are two completely different things. Who I am, my womanhood, everything in between, is not up for debate. Say what? My womanhood, everything in between, is not up for debate. I am agnostic, so that means I don't know what I believe in. I definitely am not religious. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. And we are back. We're back. I'm afraid so. It's that time again, guys. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you're all having an amazing day. And listen, actually, today's video, we got a quick one for you. It's not going to be that bad. We've got some heartwarming clips. We've got some funny clips. And of course, of course, we've got some just insane woke TikTok insanity. So we're covering it all. We're bringing it the good, the bad, the ugly, the whole spectrum in today's episode of Epic Woke TikTok Fails. TikTok mm. is degenerate trash. Uh, Correct. Everything woke turns to shit, okay? <laughs> oh, ain't that the truth. Um, anyway, before we get into it, I just wanted to say, um, you guys may have noticed you had a wonderful ad-free experience in the last video if you if you watched the last video ad-free experience not a single ad on the whole video which i know some of the videos that are 20 25 minutes long they stuff a bunch of ads in there well you didn't have to worry about that on the last video but because they demonetized it i don't know go figure shocking huh so on that note i gotta give a huge shout out to the sponsors of today's video Today's video is being brought to you by, first off, Walter Daniels. Walter has been a member of the greatest community on the YouTubes for a very long time. Walter is, seems like every single video, Walter's lighting that comment section up, showing all kinds of love and support, doing it for a while. Walter's also sponsored several videos in the past. Um, I just want to say, Walter, thank you so much, sir. I'm very grateful to have you as a member of this community. Thank you for helping out when the uh, YouTube's overlords are trying to sink this ship. You guys are keeping us afloat. Sponsor number two. Today's video is also being brought to you by the man, the myth, the legend himself, Boltonator. No surprise there, Boltonator has sponsored the past, I don't even know how many videos. Boltonator, thank you so, so much. Boltonator has his very own YouTube channel. If you want to go check that out after this video, I know Boltonator would uh, greatly appreciate some love and support over there. It's B-O-L-T-I-N-A-T-O-R, with an exclamation point after it. Funny channel. He does meme reviews, TikTok reviews. Great guy, Boltonator. So thank you so much. I'm very, very grateful as well to have you as a member of this community. That goes for every single one of you guys. I don't call this, they don't call this the greatest community on the YouTubes. For no reason there's a reason for it and listen if you want to join this amazing community hit that subscribe button also if you would like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel there is a paypal link in the description box below i will say your full name as a sponsor of said video unless stated otherwise by you i want to shout out uh youtube channel use a nickname a username an etsy store an e-commerce store shout out your husband wife friend daughter son however you guys want to do it that's how we're going to do it let's get into it all right, we're going to start it off on the right foot here. This is this is great. Probably one of the best Christmas decorations. Now, we've got a bunch of Christmas decorations similar to this. I'm going to be doing a video probably next week with a bunch of these uh, Christmas decoration compilations. Uh, this is great. Roll the film, please. Auden Avenue and Haplin. To my friends on the South Shore, you're welcome. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> All right, so, 
so we're gonna go right from that uh good clip <laughs> uh great decorations to teacher feature teacher feature of the day here um this teacher feature has been in one of our videos in the past um keeps getting more disturbing this is a long clip about two minutes and 20 seconds i'm gonna cut it off probably at the minute mark because that's all i can take of this insanity roll the film please hi here's some things my students have said slash done since i came out and changed my teacher name you have a new name well yes it's a name that makes me a lot happier and that's why i changed it i like your new name i do too but it's nice to know i have your approval mix you mean like mixing you up like cookie dough if that's gonna help you remember it, yeah, cookie dough works. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss K, I need... It's Miss K! I did not ask them to do that. You guys are in fifth grade, so I feel like I can tell you this a little bit more. Um, my new name is going to be Mix K, and I go by they and she pronouns. Yay! Woo! Yeah, Mr. is for boys, and Mrs. is for girls. Well, I go by Mix Love Bug. What does that make me? Uh. Yep, my work here is done. Hi, Mix K. Um, can I talk to you when you're free? Yeah, of course, Sunshine. What's up? Cuckoo. Time ago, being crazy meant something. Nowadays, everybody's crazy. <laughs> please, please, please. Get your children out of public schools. <laughs> I know, I know. Easier said than done. I know. Uh, wow. One thing about these teacher features is they all seem so developmentally stunted that they're, instead of trying to teach the kids, they're trying to be friends with the kids, which, I mean, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Moving right along. All right, here's a crazy clip um, showing you just how insane the rest of the world's getting. Uh, this is in Austria. It says lockdown for the unveed, the unjabbed. Roll it. So Reza and I are out in beautiful Vienna, and um, it's actually a crime for us to be outside now because today is the first day that the nationwide lockdown has ended, but it has transformed into a lockdown solely for the unvaccinated. So for us to be outside right now <laughs> is breaking the law because we're not vaccinated. So just standing here, breathing in 2021 as an unvaccinated person is a crime in Vienna. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> how how crazy. I mean, we see what's going on in Austria, the Netherlands, New Zealand, um, Australia, Canada. It's just crazy. And... I would almost get, guarantee, I bet my bottom dollar that if we didn't have, you know, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and our Second Amendment, we would be locked up just as tight as these people with the uh, severe government overreach there that they're facing. They they thought it was a good idea to hand over their hand over their guns to the uh, the government. Us as Americans, we realize that the Second Amendment's there for a reason. So. Let's just uh, make sure we never make that mistake. Moving right along. And listen, I, I, I know I get people like, well, what if they had guns in this country, that country, or are they just going to start shooting at the cops? Well, no. If you have all your citizens armed, the government, the police, the whoever else isn't going to even think about imposing any of this nonsense. It's when they realize, well, we can do what we want. There's not much fight back. That's when they start putting the boot down. It's, it's just not going to happen here. There's two... It, I'm going to leave that there. This video will probably be demonetized too. Anyway, up next, what does this say? I don't sit. This les lesbians, cis lesbians, this is five, five reasons why you should date me, a trans woman. I'm so confused by that. Let's uh, roll the film, please. Hi, lesbians of TikTok. This is five reasons why you should date me, a trans woman. This will no longer be you. Here you go. If we decide to have kids, it can be genetically both of ours because I have swimmers frozen. 
my regular size clothing will look like this on you. Yes, it will. I can easily squat 150 pounds. And lastly, I've gone through so much trauma and grief coming out as trans that if you are a good-hearted human, you will be treated like a goddess. Don't you get wacky on me. What the fuck are we talking about here? <laughs> there is so much that I want to say about that clip, and I'm still fairly confused about what just happened, but we're going to leave it there. Uh, come to your own conclusions. Let's keep it moving. All right, this is a pretty heartwarming clip. I just I saw this TikTok and I had to show you guys. It says every year Santa Slay drives through Dogtown, and the dogs get to pick out new toys. So there's a big giant sleigh full of full of dog toys and uh, stuffed animals and such. Roll it. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, Santa. Bravo. What a great thing to do. I don't think that raccoon's going to last too long with that. Uh, that dog looks like he's about to tear its head off. But what a great thing to do for the dogs. Um, that was a big sleigh. I wonder how many dogs uh, end up getting in there if they give them all away. If not, they can just take them to a rescue shelter, an animal shelter or something. All right, let's uh, keep it moving. All right, next up, we got this beauty. Uh, excuse me, this part. I don't even know what this. I, I don't even know anymore. Um, This person standing out front of a... Uh, I'll let you listen. I'm not going to play this whole clip because it'll definitely get me kicked off the YouTube spot. We'll play a minute of it here. Roll it. I'm Queen City Feminist, and I'm standing in front of Compass Care, which is nestled on Eggert Road in Williamsville. And this is a crisis pregnancy center. This place lies to vulnerable pregnant people and gives them misinformation about abortion and uses stigma and shame in a very discreet kind of way to make people keep pregnancies that they did not intend to keep. Today, the Supreme Court is hearing Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization. What the hell is even that? God, you people are a circus. Hey, I don't know what happened in this video, <clears throat> excuse me, because I could not stop focusing on the, I thought that was literally a person dressed up in, uh, like, in a clown suit with clown makeup. I, that's what I thought. I thought it was some kind of clown skit. So the rest of it just went... These, these people would like to be taken seriously. And then they show up looking like they could possibly be mistaken for a clown. I, I don't know. Go figure. Moving right along. All right, I'm not sure what's going on with this video. I'll show you in just a second. Anyway, we're just about done. If you made it this far, give yourselves a round of applause, a pat on the back. You guys know I cannot do this alone, so thank you so much for trudging ahead. Um, once again, like I said before, the last video was demonetized. It's becoming a theme lately, so I got to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to the sponsors of today's video. Walter Daniels has been a member of the greatest community on the YouTubes for, for a very long time. Always showing all kinds of love and support, Walter. Thank you so much. The Boltonator. Boltonator, super sponsor, the man, the myth, the legend. Check out his channel, Boltonator, same name. Um, after this video, he would, I'm sure he'd greatly appreciate some support over there. Um, also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Become a member of the greatest community on the YouTubes. And you guys already know it. Smash that thumbs up button. Like that comment section up. Share this video so people can see what's really going on out there. Roll the film, please. Actually, there's no sound in this. So you guys, can, can you guys see that? It's hard to see. I got the plastic 
I don't know, like fish tanks or something on their head. I don't know if this is a advertisement for something. There's no lids on these things. That'd be a great if a bird shit right on top of it splattered all of that. Ah, oh, what? I don't get it. Yeah, I guess advertisement for something. I. We are so fucked. All right, so we're gonna end it on this one. Um, <clears throat> I don't. I'm, I'm wondering if he, this guy. I, I, well, you know what? This guy didn't even know what's going on. What am I talking about? I'll just, I'll just shut up. Roll the film, please. They're, they're, they're being told that you know Armageddon's on the way. Yeah. The truth is, the economy is growing more than it has any time in close to sixty years. The unemployment rate's down to four point two percent. It's going to go lower, in my view. Good evening and thank you for joining us on this Friday night. We're going to begin tonight with the staggering inflation that is hitting Americans right in the wallet. Prices were up 6.8% in November compared to a year ago. That is the biggest increase in nearly 40 years. The cost of pretty much everything is surging. Food, gas, electricity, housing, cars, and clothes. And those who received raises this year are seeing them wiped out by skyrocketing costs. Listen to this. By one estimate, expenses for a typical American family have shot up by about 4000 $1, the economy is growing more than it has any time in close to 60 years. The unemployment rate's down to 4.2%. It's going to go lower, in my view. You're a liar. You're a liar. You know something that you're not telling us, you slimy scumbag liar. problem figuring out whether you're for me or trump and you ain't black what an idiot oh what a loser